All right, guys, I've removed the camera. I'm setting it aside right now. And the reason I'm doing that and I've unplugged everything is because we still have three solder points right here that we need to use. Now, I said I would use this wire. So if you have a receiver and it doesn't have the wire on, this is great wire. And we're going to sit right in this vicinity anyway, for the most part. Or at the very least, we could maybe go to the top of the plate. But we're just going to use the wire here and we're going to solder on to S bus, 5 volt and ground. And that would be for like using a, um, a free sky receiver, right? So for those, we're just going to take these ends and I'm going to solder these on here and then I'll grab a receiver and attach these. Actually, you know what? I think, no, I'll go ahead and do this. It's not a big deal. You can do it anyway. You may want to do the receiver first. Normally I would do the receiver first, but I haven't tinned the other end of these wires yet and I don't have a receiver sitting on my desk yet. So I'm going to go ahead and just solder these three things right on here and then I'll show you what that looks like real quick. So let me show you on the microscope. Okay. All right, there you go. So that's your S bus, your five volt and your ground. Okay. So now what we're going to do is let's get to a receiver. Well, I don't have one. I don't think not sitting on my desk. Um, and to be honest with you, I wasn't really going to put one on here, but I think it's going to be better if I do. So give me one second. You guys check your wire and get your stuff soldered. I'm going to go get a receiver. Now, if you're going to use, the reason I'm using the Archer M Plus is it's probably been one of my most popular ones in the last month or so. So I'm going to use an Archer M Plus, but you'll follow the same instructions if you're using any Free Sky with S Bus, okay? Same thing. Now, if you're using TBS, I'll show you how to do that one next, but we're going to start with this, okay? All right, so for the Archer or XM Plus or RXSR, any of that, you're basically going to use the S Bus. So let's put this here. So on the Archer, we have basically ground, 5 volt, and then S bus out, and then this is S port, okay? So I'm just going to use the S bus out, the 5 volt, and the ground. So I'm going to get that tinned. Excellent. Okay. Now what I'm going to do... I'm gonna take these wires that I had left over, which these are actually excellent length. I mean, this is perfect. So it's really good if you use the VTX wires. I like when a company includes good quality wires, JHMC uses very good quality wires. Um, I like to save them because there's always a use somewhere else for them. So let me just go ahead and get ready to tin these. Okay, there you go. Twist them up real quick. All right. Now, I'm going to put this paper here because I need to cut these and I don't want any of these shavings going into the motor. So I'm just going to put that and just make sure it just stands on the paper and then I can just throw it out. Okay, there we go. All right. Now, I'm going to tin it. One, two, and three. All right. And now we're going to line these up. So, and like I said, in the case of the M Plus, the Archer, this is an Archer series, which means running the Access firmware exclusively. I'm just going to go ahead and very quickly wait for it to dry. There we go. And I'm going to go to the positive here.
and then I'm going to do the ground. Perfect. Okay. Now that that's done, I'll grab me, I think I have it laying around here somewhere, a little bit of, um, what you call it, heat shrink. Where is my clear, maybe it's in my drawer. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's run away. Oh my gosh. Oh, here it is. Okay, so I believe that on this one I like it at 30 millimeters in length, so I'm going to go ahead and just measure it against here, and I'm going to cut the heat shrink. Okay. Take that. Slide that over. Just like that. And... There we go. Now, like I said, I will come back, if you're using a, um, a uh, TBS, for example, I will come back and show you how to do the TBS. Uh, so, so please don't worry about that, it's very easy. Uh, the only thing I'm thinking here is, um, how do I want to uh, mount this receiver? Well, depending on how I have room here, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna plug in the VTX, because I wanna see with everything in, how much room do I have? So let me plug in the VTX, okay? Then let me go ahead and get the camera. Plug that in. You know what I think would be better for the camera, honestly? All those screws that were left over from the motor, not the long screws, but the shorter ones, I think those are a little bit longer. Oh, are they the same size? Oh, there they are. Mm, that's a bummer. So if they were longer, I would say use those and you can just make do with the screws. I think they are longer though. Hold on. I mean, I'm going to take this out because I. These screws are kind of short. I mean, they'd work, but when you're sitting there moving everything around, that's kind of a pain. Let me just see. I don't know if it's longer. But anyways, all right, so let me just put this back on here and not waste any time. I just want to get this camera in place so that I can see if maybe behind the camera, like on the, um, oh yeah, this is a little bit longer actually. These screws I think are gonna be a little bit better. So if you want, you can get the screws that were for the motor, the small ones that you didn't use. And this is in. Let's turn this. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna put the camera down just to see how much room we have with this. So that's in place, and that's in place. Depending on how you want to angle your camera, right? Which you're not really gonna be doing too much of an angle on this thing. So I would say you probably don't have enough room right there to put your uh, receiver. Now, could we put it right here? We could. It's a little, it's going to be a little warm, but we could. Um, so I think that what I'll do is I will most likely double side it to the top of my plate or just kind of leave it sitting here, but not necessarily stuck on here. I can leave it kind of loose because it's not going to go anywhere at this point uh, once this is covered. So just kind of lay it on top of there for right now. And, uh, and uh, that will sit, I mean, that should sit just fine anyway. Uh, besides, we're going to zip tie the antenna down. So just lay that right like that for right now. You'll be just fine. And what we're going to do next is we're going to come back now and we're going to finish putting everything together. Uh, let's see. So we've done the camera. We've done the VTX. We've done the RX. Uh, we're going to zip tie the RX antenna to the top plate. Um, and we're going to put the prop guards on. So, hey, good job, guys. I'll be back in just a minute and we'll go through that rest part, okay?